Hi all, welcome back. This is the third and the last part of the discussion of the fragmentation patterns of compounds which contain carbonyl functional group. Let's see the fragmentation patterns of carboxylic acids. They give normally they give weak molecular ion peaks. The common fragmentation patterns are alpha cleavage and McLafferty rearrangement. And in that first we have to see the fragmentations of aliphatic acids. And the alpha cleavage takes place in two different forms. That is, in this one, R dot is obtained. So the breakage has taken place here. Okay. R dot and OH, CO plus are obtained with the ambisid value 45. And the second, in the second alpha cleavage, OH is be converted into OH dot and the resulting is RCO plus. Okay. And the second one is the McLafferty peak which is obtained at M by Z is equal to 60 for almost all carboxylic acids. I have taken the example of butanoic acid. Alpha cleavage is shown. For this to be obtained, the fragmentation has taken place here. So that C3H7 is expelled as radical. This is C3H7. Okay. And the remaining one is at M by Z is equal to 45. This is the common peak that would be there normally in the case of all acids. And the next one is again predictable OH dot. OH dot. Here the fragmentation has taken place here. OH dot and the remaining plus C3H7CO plus with M by Z value 71. When it comes to McLafferty rearrangement, you, have, you might be, you must have been familiar with this by so far because we have written this a number of times. Right. This is what happens, alpha, beta, gamma. So that a peak at M by Z is equal to 60 is obtained and it's a big peak, base peak of almost all aliphatic acids. Okay. The next one is aromatic acids. Here, this OH is converted into OH dot and the remaining CO plus is obtained and from there CO is eliminated to give you a phenyl carbocation m by z is equal to 77 and then it converts into cyclobuta diagonal carbocation at m by z is equal to 51 and the base peak is at m by z is equal to 105 this is the base peak okay and here if this benzene if this benzene ring is expelled as radical c6h5 dot which means that the fragmentation has taken place like this okay to give a cation which is OH CO plus at M by Z is equal to 45 and this is the important one because base peak is obtained here and you you are familiar with this pattern because we have seen it many times in the discussion of carbocarbonyl compounds earlier also okay so if you have any doubt please go refer back my previous videos and a new thing is here is an is the ortho effect it is the ortho elimination which is taking place if the substituents are properly oriented at the ortho position this is i have taken the example of salicylic acid and here see here two oh and co groups are at ortho positions so here a rearrangement i mean bond rearrangement takes place like this to for water molecule to expel okay one water molecule is expelled and the remaining species is this one because here a new bond is formed between the ring and oxygen and a new bond is formed between the ring and carbonyl carbonate and the peak is obtained at m by z is equal to 120 okay this is the ortho effect if some groups are there some properly oriented groups are there at ortho positions this ortho effect takes place by the elimination of small molecules like water normally and the next category is the fragmentation patterns of esters. They give weak molecular ion peaks normally. And then first we have to see the aliphatic esters. How are they getting fragmented? Here is also two types of fragmentation has been shown. And the first one is obtained like this, R dot and the resulting plus. Okay, R dash OCO plus. And in the second category, RCO dot is getting eliminated. RCO dot is getting eliminated. And the cation part is O R dash plus and the third one is McLafferty rearrangement. 
For example of aliphatic one, it is methyl butanoate. I have shown the two types of alpha cleavages. This is C3H7 dot. So the first one is taking place here to give you CH3OCO plus. It is at MBIZ value 59. And the second one, RCO dot is eliminated. Okay, altogether this much bigger group is eliminated to give CH3O plus, which is at MBIZ is equal to 31. And the third one is the McLafferty peak. Here, bone shift takes place like this. Okay, to give you ethylene as a byproduct, I haven't shown it here. And the base peak is, is the McLafferty peak, which is at M by Z is equal to 74. An example of aromatic esters, methyl benzoate is the example. That is the most common and the most simplest aromatic ester available. And in the first two fragmentation patterns, these are similar to that of aliphatic esters also. Okay, we have seen the peak at 59 and we have seen the peak, peak at 31 over there. And the difference here lies there, lies here that is CH3 O dot is eliminated. CH3 O dot is eliminated to give you benzene ring CO plus. Then it, it gives M by Z is equal to 77. Then it gives M by Z is equal to 51. We are familiar with this, with this sequence now. Okay. And the base peak is at M by Z, M by Z is equal to 105. Amides. There are again two types, aliphatic and aromatic. They show reasonable molecular ion peaks. The main cleavages are alpha cleavage to give a peak at N by Z is equal to 44. Normally, the unsubstituted amides will give you a peak at M by Z is equal to 44 by alpha cleavage. And the same amide will give you a peak at M by Z is equal to 59, which is the McLafferty peak. Okay, example is butanamide or butyramide. We can say the alpha cleavage is shown here. This much the alkyl group is expelled as radical C3H7 dot and the remaining plus, which is at M by Z is equal to 44. And this is the McLafferty peak. The rearrangement takes place like this to give M by Z is equal to 59 peak. Okay. This is the last one. It's an example of aromatic amide. I have given the fragmentation patterns by taking butanamide. Sorry, it is not butanamide. It is benzamide. Okay. I have taken benzamide as the example. Okay. And here, M by Z is equal to 44 peak is familiar. We have seen that. And this is the difference in the case of aromatic amides. NH2 dot here, the bone breaks here to give NH2 dot and CO plus, which gives you at 77 and which eventually gives it M by Z is equal to 51. But here, we, you have to note the point that here base peak is not at M by Z is equal to 105. Instead, it gives the base peak at M by Z is equal to 77. Okay, with this, I'm winding up the discussions. In the next video, I'll be handling the fragmentation patterns of alkyl halides and related aspects. Thank you.